Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tinku Bali Razdan. I'm working as a retina specialist in the Department of Ophthalmology at Sir Gangaram Hospital, New Delhi. And today I'll be talking to you about diabetic retinopathy. Now, diabetic retinopathy is a complication of diabetes mellitus, which affects the eye. A diabetic patient, you'd be surprised to know, has a four times more chance of becoming blind as compared to his non-diabetic counterpart. And this is something that most people don't know about. Most people don't even know that diabetes can affect the eye. Now, what, where exactly does this effect happen in the eye? The eye is like a ball and behind the back part of the eye where the image is formed is called the retina. This is a light sensitive tissue and this is the uh, organ that is affected by diabetes. Diabetes causes damage to the blood vessels of the retina and this leads to visual impairment. Now a patient who has diabetes may have no symptom whatsoever in the early stages of diabetic retinopathy and then it may keep on progressing and gradually lead even to blindness. As we all know, India is the diabetic capital of the world. We have the maximum population of diabetics. So it's important that we all know about this vision threatening complication so that we can prevent visual loss and detect it at the right time. Diabetic retinopathy is divided into non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy and proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy is the early stage where diabetes causes damage to the blood vessels of the retina. These vessels start to become leaky and fluid starts to leak out from them. Uh, this fluid can collect in the center of the retina which is called the macula and cause swelling over there and this can cause blurring of vision. So the early symptoms of diabetic retinopathy can be either blurred vision, spots in front of your eye, a black spot in front of your eye. And these changes keep on progressing till the advanced stage, which is called proliferative diabetic retinopathy. In proliferative diabetic retinopathy, new vessels start to form on the surface of the retina. These blood vessels are abnormal blood vessels. They are very delicate and fragile and they can bleed inside the eye and cause severe visual loss. In the next stage, fibrous tissue can form over these abnormal blood vessels and that can cause a pull on the retina and cause a retinal detachment which leads to very severe visual loss. Uh, the important thing to remember is that the early stages of diabetic retinopathy may have no symptoms whatsoever. So it's very important that every patient with diabetes goes for a regular eye checkup at least once a year. It's very, very important because in the early stages, you may have no symptoms and the damage may be going on inside the eye. It's only the eye specialist who dilates your pupil and checks your retina who will be able to tell whether the damage has started or not. So how do we see for this damage? We have some special test. When you go to your eye specialist, most imp the important thing to remember is that you have to go and visit a retina specialist who is trained to treat and look for diabetic retinopathy. Uh, your doctor will dilate your eyes, that is put some drops in your eyes. You'll have to sit and wait for some time while your pupil dilates and then only the doctor will be able to look inside and see your retina. Now once diabetic retinopathy is detected, what then? Well, in the early stages of diabetic retinopathy, no treatment is required. We just ask the patient to control their sugar, their blood pressure, get their hemoglobin checked and maintain it. Also, your lipid profile is very important. Keep your cholesterol under control and keep coming for a regular eye examination, which could be anywhere between uh, three months to six months. Once you have an advanced form of diabetic retinopathy, wherein there is swelling in the center of your retina, which is called macular edema, then the treatment is to give injections inside the eye. A diabetic patient may require multiple such injections and usually these injections are given at one month's intervals. The names of these injections, uh, you commonly hear about them, uh, they are called anti-VEGF injections and they come by the name of Avastin and Lucentis, ILEA. Also sometimes steroid injections may be needed in the eye. Uh, the next stage where bleeding happens inside the eye in proliferative retinopathy, at that stage laser treatment is required. So a special light is put on the surface of the retina which causes the bleeding blood vessels to shrink so that they don't bleed anymore 
and in very advanced cases when there's a lot of blood in the retina inside the eye then a special surgery called vitrectomy may be needed to clear the blood from the eye so these are the various treatment modalities which are there but the most important thing to remember is that every diabetic patient needs a dilated retina examination at least once a year so please do keep all your sugar your blood pressure your lipids your hemoglobin well under control and please go and see an eye specialist a retina specialist at least once a year if you want to protect your eyes from diabetes thank you so much